to make deposits into that social capital bank because it feels good. Find need to have a conversation with yourself about not being the right equipment, not doing a piece of homework around your attitude to learning or so forth. If I've invested enough in that social capital bank, I can draw on that stuff. It's like think for a minute of the, the <coughs> teacher who had the greatest impact on you when you were in school. You know, what did they do? <coughs> just reflect on it. What did they do? How heavily did they invest in relationships? You know, how, how much did they get to know you? Because another phrase I'd like you to consider is we ask people to know our students well and allow them to know us well. Now, by that, I don't mean we come in on a Monday morning and let people know I had a bit too many drinks over the weekend, I fell out with my partner, I had a tough weekend. But I want people to know that I've got children. I want them to know that I support Everton. I want them to know a little bit about me. And that's the bit, isn't it, that we're not asking people to be completely vulnerable. But if we want to invest in the notion of building connection, then people have to know a little bit about us. But we need to know a lot about them. Because that bit you said about consistency. When I went to the school, and I often share this story about David who arrived at school. He arrived a little bit late, and he had white shoes on, secondary school list. And he arrived a little bit late, and he was greeted with a, a, a finger in his chest. He told this teacher to F off. He told three more people to F off on his way down to the room and was excluded that day. And if you knew David really well, you'd know that that's the only piece of footwear David's got. I'm not saying we should let him off the hook. If you know David really well, he's coming late because he's possibly dropped his siblings off at school. If you know David really well, you'll also know that David's mum's taking heroin again. If you know David really well, dad, David's dad's not on the scene and David's mum's fell out with mum, who's a big security, you know, safety factor. You also know David really well. He's involved in criminality, not because he wants to buy luxury items, but he's buying lefting gas cards or keeping them in the house. So if I did greet David that door, I could greet him with the biggest smile I could and put my arm around him and ask if he'd have had breakfast. And then about five minutes later, I would have had a conversation about being late in the white trainers. It was still about accountability and boundaries and limits. So that's the bit about flexible consistency, isn't it? But we want to invest heavily in that connection and invest in a relationship.